Hello and welcome again to Chris Cast. This is season two, episode four, Public Urination. Welcome and thank you for listening to this podcast. This podcast, while not innately adults only, it will be talking about public urination, which, you know, is both illegal and disgusting and the sign of very low breeding. And were my mother or father alive today, or my grandparents, or if I had any uncles, uh, well, I do have a, at least I have one aunt, but if they knew, I would be shunned, shunned, I tell you. However, I'm sort of a de facto free mind, free, free spirit, adult orphan, adult child of alcoholism. And I'm in the middle of a coronavirus, COVID-19 epidemic, quarantine world where there are no public toilets, public restrooms, park restrooms, or anything like that available to anybody for anything. So beware, and thank you for stopping by. Okay, by now, if you're my friend anywhere on social media, you'll know that I spend all of my time out walking as much as I can during any day that's remotely beautiful, even if it's hot, even if it's humid, even if it's cold, even if it threatens to rain later, I try to get out of my apartment since I've always worked at home, but mostly now that coronavirus has hit and because I have a lot of weight to lose and I always want to try to get 12,000 steps a day. So I generally carry a ranch land Filson duffel filled with a copper water bottle and the old X220 think pad. And it's a, battery base and a bunch of chargers and a bunch of iPod and an iPod touch and a Galaxy Note 10 plus and uh, 5G and then I go to the hills I rush to the hills I think in the future I will include a charger for the laptop because I ran out of juice today but I go hither and thither and I'll spend hours out I once spent eight hours out and about uh, I also bring a Kindle so I read and I sometimes bring my Astro House free write so I can write and I have the laptop to write on and I work and I work and I work tethered hotspots etc but you know what there's nowhere to pee so I become an expert of the public urination and I know that I know that my fraternity brother David was arrested for public urination when we were pups in college at GW. Hi, 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 Phi Kappa Psi. Live ever, die never, Phi Kappa Psi. But I've never been caught. And I'm pretty good at uh, being charming and white entitled and 50 years old with gray hair enough that I can pretty much talk myself into any place to use anybody's bathroom. But everybody's closed. Because of coronavirus, even even the uh, toilets uh, in public parks and community centers and all the all the places are are not available. I think that the men's room at McDonald's is open, and the restroom at my local Penrose Penro Square Giant is open. So those places, uh, if not. Like today, for example, I spent, uh, I, I made the first two episodes of this season's podcast at uh, the community center uh, off of uh, Walter Reed. And um, all of a sudden, my bladder got really angry with me, and I did a, a recon there, and there was nowhere to go. Now, I'll let you know that um, South Arlington is beginning to smell a lot like downtown Manhattan. Like, I'm not the only pu- only person who is uh, publicly urinating. 
because there is, I'm not the only one. I might be the best one because I do not do it in, um, in the roots of people. I will literally, for example, deep between a uh, residential area and the community center, uh, in a place where if I, guess if I got caught, I would be in wicked trouble, right? Like a community center by basketball po- courts and tennis courts. Oh my God. Anyway, there's a fence between the residential area and the park and ain't nobody walked there. So I went and took a tromp and I tromped and tromped and tromped until all the sight lines were completely obscured by uh, trees and bushes and fences and every kind of thing. And it wasn't until then that I copped a quick pee. Um, I actually used to think that real men only said piss. So I will say piss. But pee has become so publicly acceptable that people are saying pee in G-rated movies. So I think pee is the only... uh, So I've done this all over town. Um, Down in Crystal City, I'll I'll go behind uh, an entire... Like between a fence that separates uh, the Virginia Railroad from uh, the tracks there from uh, from the uh, from the park down there at uh, Crystal City, and I if I if there's any sight line, I continue looking and foraging, and I will go until I find a place where. I can guarantee that there'll be no lines of sight, uh, dead ends, uh, places where maybe a dog walker might go to follow their dog, but it's generally some place that I find completely inaccessible. And then, you know, I'm not doing number two. I can, and I do not, hey ladies, I do not have a problem with my prostate, ladies. Doctors, um, and so it's pretty quick. But this is what has become of me. I, this is not a habitual thing, and I'm not. I've given up drinking completely. Uh, I'll talk about my AFib a little bit later. But ever since I realized that I was, I was uh, tangling with great unhappiness. I was dancing with the devil. I've completely given up any kind of any alcohol, anything. I'm going to be so much fun when the bars are back open. But um, you know what they say, rocks glass with uh, a little bit of fizzy water and a lime. Nobody can tell. Anyway, so that's me. I've, I've, uh, I did it today. I've, uh, I've done it, uh, Pentagon City, Crystal City, uh, Glebe, off of Glebe Road, um, Pentagon City, Courthouse. Oh man, if maybe I'll be, maybe someone's going to knock down my door. And since I admit to this, still there's no evidence, but I've 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 committed it to podcasts, so it is true. Uh, thankfully, at some point, hopefully this will end, but. I got to tell you, today was kind of an emergency. How many of you all are doing this? Uh, It's terrible to be a girl, I guess, when it comes to public urination. Although, I'd be, you know, I'd be surprised if you aren't. I know that all the runners I know know how to cop a wee and not impinge. And even worse, cop a two, cop a three, cop a four. Um... I would say number three and number four are based mostly on irritable bowel syndrome and various sicknesses. But that's that's my world. I don't prefer to. I prefer to hold it till I can return home. I'm never more than two or three miles away from home. And generally halfway through the day, since I don't bring my chargers, I generally stop home and recharge and then head out again. But that's my reality at the moment. I'm, I'm foul and disgusting, or I'm more Amazonian and Whitman-esque than ever. I've, I've re- reclaimed my humanity. 
reclaimed the animal of my soul, reclaimed my wildness. Amen. Love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry I bawled you, but I love you anyway. Ciao. Thank you for being appalled and delighted by Season 2, Episode 4 of Chris Cast. Public urination for pee and sympathy. Love you guys. Aloha, mahalo. Uh, I guess maybe if I get really into this, you'll get another episode tomorrow. TTFN. Au revoir. Tschüss. Tschüssi. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Hasta mañana. Uh, that's Italian Spanish. Um, hasta mañana. Uh, a demain. Au revoir. Ciao. La, 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 la.